second hand car dealing led you into a form of entrepreneurship and, and, and you were off to America and Hong yeah. Kong. And, and did you enjoy the business world? I enjoyed America and Hong Kong because there was a freedom of thought, uh, a complete lack of structure in the way that it existed. This is, we're talking about the 70s. We're talking about a Britain which really had an awful lot in it that was still the Second World War, uh, particularly in terms of taxation, mm. the opportunity to do what you wanted to do, the chance to get on, uh, the opportunity to raise money, virtually non-existent, unless you put your house on the line with your local bank, and that was all you could do. And <clears throat> I found America a tremendously opening experience for how to think. And in Hong Kong, um, people are sometimes rude about the civil service, but it's important to remember that one civil servant created the structure in Hong Kong, a man from the colonial office, as it was in those days, which transformed it into one of the economic powerhouses of the world, which has now been destroyed by communism. Yeah, I mean, it's desperately sad, isn't it, to see what's happened to Hong Kong? It's sad and outrageous, actually. Yeah, they've broken the deal, haven't they? Of course they have. I mean, that deal was signed in good faith. Uh, until 2047, Hong Kong was going to have autonomy, but none of it. No, it is sad.